Hey guys, what's going on? Sifu Greg here with the Authentic Shaolin Kung Fu School. Today, we're gonna to be going over Mythbusters roundhouse kicks. Are they effective? How can we utilize these tactics in our modern day time? See you there. Hey guys, Sifu Greg here with the Authentic Shaolin Kung Fu School. So today, we're gonna to be going over roundhouse kicks. Are roundhouse kicks effective? How can we use them being effective instead of just tapping techniques? We have to be able to localize the techniques. We have to be able to use different parts of our bodies, different parts of our legs for roundhouse kicks and what we can use them for. So that's what we're gonna be going over today. Again, guys, it's all about taking your style and taking your training and pushing it to the next level. You know, uh, you know, you guys gotta check out our form and functions. If you guys check out the form and functions, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. But our, our styles are more similar than they are different. So we're gonna go right to it, right to the point. I'm gonna stop babbling a little bit here. We're gonna go right to the techniques. So we're gonna work on defensive content right now. So the defensive motion. The problem with too much defense, if I'm not hitting to the jaw, I have to really be worried about are my opponents still coming in? A lot of people can take a roundhouse kick and keep coming, depending on where the roundhouse kick is, whether it's to the leg. So we're gonna be working defensive right now. So my opponent's gonna start off with that lead reverse. That lead reverse, the reverse is gonna open up the side of the ribs. Now, depending on where I wanna hit them is depending on where we're gonna have that power. So again, if I can't hit to the face where, you know, in the street, throwing too high of kicks isn't too funky. You know, unless you're really that good and you're a little younger than me, it might work out fine for you. But for me, working waist down is perfect. My opponent throws that lead reverse, he's already opening up that front leg to get hit on the inside. And we understand that the front, the inside of the legs is much more delicate than the outside, right? We're, we're frontal animals and we have armor on the outside of our bodies, but not on the inside of our arms where everything is weak. So it's gonna be one, two here, we can strike right here. I'm striking right to the right to the thigh, but if I wanna get nasty, I can strike right to the, uh, right to the uh, inside of the knee, and we can do our damage that way. So it's gonna, be, it's gonna be a mixture. I'm sorry, sorry, it's gonna be a mixture. It's gonna be here, and then I'm gonna take my side kick and stick it right in there. So I wanna set up for the roundhouse, and then stick the side kick right into the body. And this is a defensive technique, right? So even if you threw the lead hand, I can throw here, or I can throw here, right to the inside of the thigh. So it's gonna be inside the thigh, and then I'm gonna strike right to the body, all right? So we're gonna get a little closer. I'm gonna switch this way, you all right? Yes, sir. I'm gonna switch. So he's gonna throw here, I strike to the inside of the leg. And you see where it's coming in, right here, right? So, and then we strike right to the, we strike with the side kick right to the body. So if I go through this slow, here it's gonna be one, two, just to keep him away. So a roundhouse kick is great, but if you add the roundhouse to the psychic, it's even better. Okay guys, so um, just going back to what we were doing. So again, it's the lead reverse inside thigh, right? So we wanna make sure that the chamber is turned. So I'm turning my body as I throw that kick and it sets up right for that side kick. And sometimes I kinda, I kinda hang or check and there's nothing wrong with that. So from here, I kinda check because it kinda keeps everything safe. And that's what we're looking to do is to keep it, to keep us safe, especially for roundhouse. Roundhouses are tight, don't get me wrong. Roundhouses are really, really good. But um, for me, nothing like a front kick or a side kick that really does a lot of damage. Roundhouses are great, front kicks are great, side kicks really cause a lot of damage. And when you start to mix them together, now side kicks, depending on where you're kicking on the body, again, could be devastating, devastating, devastating. So, um, the next drill we're gonna do is, it's gonna be the same, it's gonna be another defensive tactic, but it's gonna be from here and I'm gonna stretch. And what I'm doing is I'm looking to hit the bottom part of that lat. So when he comes in, I'm gonna hit that bottom part of the lat. If I can get my leg to wrap around to the back here and hit the kidney, that's what we're looking to too. Also, so from here I can, right, right to the kidney there, right, or one, two, three here. Now, I'm throwing the roundhouse kick, I'm throwing the roundhouse kick and he's not gonna just stand there and hang out. So we have to assume, or just keep in mind that they might be throwing that other drill. So if I'm here and I throw, he's gonna throw again. So it's gonna be here, throw here, and now I take the other side and drop to the back of that leg here. All right, so again, a lot of it is 
that parrying technique, roundhouse, parrying again. And again, it's a palm, it's a palm, it's actually a snake drill. But you can use fan, you could use snake, you could use crane's wing to actually pull that down. It all depends on what you want to do. So it's from here, when he throws here, I strike. And obviously I'm striking to the thigh. We can come over to the head here. We can strike, we can come here, we can come down here. Take the legs out. So we'll do it on the other side. So again, it's here, when he throws here, look, I'm already coming in. Even if I didn't do the kick, I'm sliding right in for that, for that attack. So here, here, and low line. Right to the back of the leg. Okay? All right, guys, so we're gonna be working offensively right now. So again, foot and a half, and I'm looking to make up distance. So I wanna slide in. So as I slide in is when I'm gonna actually strike right here in that low line. And I wanna, I'm not gonna do this and bring my body up, I slide in. So I'm making up distance immediately. So I slide in here and come in with my left hand. So the only thing that he can do at this point, because again, the first technique here is gonna stop him. That's what I'm looking to do. I'm looking to stop him, bring this hand forward if anything's in the way, and the left hand comes right over the top. And again, what happens is, so from here I slide in here and I throw that hand, look what happens. So from here, when I step in, I'm using that hook. So he's already squared to me, right? The whole goal of this is to square your opponent out so that he's weaker on that hit and that's where most likely you're gonna see him drop. So again, I slide in, overhand, and as I slide in with that overhand, if he blocks it, I press, and look where I am. I throw that hook, he puts the hand up, I th throw that hook right in, and he's right here. And say, that doesn't work, I do what? I go for that leg, take him down, all right? So we're gonna go through this a little quicker. Again, I'm on the, I'm on the move, so I'm here, and then I strike. All right, if we bring it over here and move a little, uh, I guess a little faster, I'm gonna come in here and then I'm gonna strike in there. And that's where I can take them. Even from this position, I can use my, I can use my rooster stance, which is a traditional stance to bring them down to the floor. So we're gonna change this angle up just a little bit, just to make it a little different. So again, as I come in here, I strike, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not even sure if you can see it. So from here again, you come in here and I strike with that right hand. So if I slow this down, the first drag is hitting that, that leg. So I go one and I come in, right? So I'm gonna go one and I'm gonna come straight in with that hand here. The minute that hand blocks, that hand is gonna come up. So again, all it is is stepping. And the beautiful thing about it is we get to step. So from here, I get to step behind and I can work that leg. So again, so one, two, three, and bring them down to the floor. The biggest thing is the first shot. And if you notice, my right hand is pretty much just kind of pressing and pushing. We worked on this a couple weeks ago with these middle block presses. So here, I'm already pressing, and this is coming over, and that's gonna switch. And that's what that setup is. And we can do a million things from there, but we're just focusing on what we're doing, so. Guys, I want to thank you very much. Mythbusters has busted the myth about effective roundhouses and how you can use them, whether defensive or offensive. And we're just scratching the surface, guys. There's a thousand different ways to cook chicken. There's a thousand different ways to throw a roundhouse. This is just a couple. So you guys can take them, work with them. Definitely leave comments. Let me know what you think. Practice it. Maybe send me a video or two. Let me know that you're practicing, you're working the drills and everything else. So important, guys. Thanks again for being family, understanding that our, our styles are more similar than they are different. So we should stop pointing fingers and saying, this doesn't work, that doesn't work, this doesn't work, that doesn't work. It's not the style that sucks, it's you. So just remember that. It's not the style that sucks. The style doesn't make the student. The student makes the style work. The style is there as tools. We have to utilize the tools the best that we can. If that style doesn't fit your body type and it doesn't fit the, the stuff that you're doing, move on, find a different system. But remember, it's not the style, guys. And again, thank you so much. Thanks, please share, like, subscribe. Uh, the more that you guys are following, I appreciate, but definitely subscribe. 
And every time that you guys click the like button and subscribe, it changes the algorithms. More people get to see what we do. I am starting that Patreon page, I promise you. I know I've been saying it, but we will get it together. Right now, I'm trying to get all these videos to you guys. Asif was working really hard. Lasher here, he's, he's, he's working really hard getting thrown around. And uh, you know, a lot of the stuff that we're doing here is for you guys. So thank you very much, and I really appreciate everybody that's been watching, everybody that's been following. Uh, and again, just I appreciate it so much. Remember guys, look for the good martial arts out there. You'll know when you see it. We'll see you next week.